Hey, what's up everyone? Colby Cheese here with another episode of the Boss Kill series. Now, I'm actually at the Lost Sinner, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens if you do kill the Gargoyles first and grab the Lost Bastille Key. You can go ahead and use a Flame Butterfly, light up your torch, and go to each side of these doors here and light up this little tar pit. This is not necessary to ki kill the boss. What it does is it lights up the area and makes it easier for you to target the boss. So that can become useful. The boss likes to jump around a lot and you will lose sight of the boss, making the targeting and dodging a lot more difficult. So choose whatever you want to do here, especially since I'm ranged. This makes the boss fight a little bit more convenient for me overall. But again, it's not 100% necessary. So this boss is pretty much the same strategy whether you are ranged or melee. You can the ju the dodging is really the same. I'm actually this time just going to try it out with a with a poison bow just because I've never tried that before and I think it'll be fun. So as you see he jumps away. I did actually lose sight for a little bit and you'll see how he jumps up there as well. So a lot of times you'll lose sight and you have to be really close before you can retarget the lost sinner which I've heard is a girl, not a guy even though it looks like a guy to me. But the main trick here is to dodge into his attacks just like that and his or her whatever dodge into its attacks and you should not have as much of a problem actually avoiding those especially when the when the uh when the leap attack comes at you that's really going to help you out a lot so i'm going to go ahead and wait boop, for him to do an attack i'm just going to say him because that's what i feel like saying i'm going to wait for him to do an attack and make sure that they have the little that little cool down after each set of attacks that the bosses do tend to have which allows you you know a little bit of time to get a couple attacks as you can see I'm actually doing a lot of damage here and jump into it booyah no big deal the one thing that you do need to be careful if if there is a jabbing attack instead of a sweeping attack that's normally when you have less time to actually respond and do another attack doesn't seem like I had that problem here this was actually a very quick fight but again if you get poked Make sure that you don't try and heal after that. Only heal after the sweeping attacks because that's when you have more time. But that's pretty much it. The fight is very, very simple. Thank you guys for watching The Last Sinner. And I'll see you around for the next one. I'm Colby Cheese. Peace out, bros.